Today, I'm going to explore the city's street art. Because I was uh, doing a bit of research yesterday, and apparently there's some amazing street art in Kiev. Now, I did. I have seen a couple of pieces on my travels yesterday uh, that looked pretty impressive, to be honest. And apparently, there's loads more of them. There's about there's a map online with about 160 pieces. Now, I don't think I'll get to see all of them today. But I have uh, saved a few to Google Maps. I need to head to the centre and then do a bit of a street art trail. It's about half an hour to get to my first point. Hopefully there'll be some uh, interesting things to look at along the way. And yeah, let's go and check out the street art of Kiev. Before I start wandering the streets of Kiev looking for street art, I'm going to start the day at something called Park Landscape Alley, which apparently is just down here. Um, not exactly sure what it is, I think it's just basically some uh, small park with uh, lots of kind of sculptures in there, but I don't know, I'm, I'm just guessing really. So anyway, that's our first stop, it's down here, doesn't look like many people uh, I'll come in to have a look at Park Landscape Alley. Well, I don't know if this is the right place. This doesn't look like the right place, does it? <sighs> it looks a right dump. Surely this is not where I'm meant to be going. What the hell? How many people come to Kiev and end up in a place like this? I don't even get anywhere. I've given up on that. Google Maps was taking me through there, but apparently if I carry on the road, it'll bring me there anyway. Is that it? That was a half hour walk well spent. I think there's more of it. I hope there is anyway. Well, this is it. Because this is on the uh, Google Maps. Ooh, some of the Google Maps pictures. I'm not sure how much there is up here. I can see a piece of street art further on. Well, I found my first big mural, and it's a good one. Now, the problem I'm going to have today is bloody sun's out. So, uh, might not be able to get you know, pictures of these street art, but this one will be fine because the sun's just disappeared behind that beautiful building there. So anyway, number one on the street art trail of Kiev. Now this one's quite an incredible piece of work because what they've actually done here is they've uh, chiselled the art from the um, what used to cover the building the paintwork so it's it's actually been chiseled in and I do believe and correct me if I'm wrong but I do believe that this was the first victim in the uh, Ukraine and Russia uh, conflict of 2014 Three all in the uh, same little park. Well, I've just come around the corner from the last one, and there's a couple more here. This one is all uh, mosaics, and uh, was once the biggest mosaic in Kiev. And this one is of Gana Rizadinova, who was a Ukrainian rhythmic gymnast born in Crimea. And this one's called Floating Cranes. Looks like quite an old one, that one. Now, all of these are like literally minutes apart from each other. So this area, what I'm in right now, 
is a good place to come for the street art because there appears to be tons of it around. I just came from over there and I knew there was a piece of street art just around the corner and I didn't know if I'd have to go looking for it like I did the last one which I didn't manage to find. I just got around the corner and check this one out. So we're coming off the uh, main street onto this what looks like a little car park or something and here we are well we've got two pieces here I don't know if we can get in to look at them, so... And just opposite that, we've got this one. Well, I didn't find a piece of street art, but I have come across this. Check this out. What the hell is that? Now I don't think it's anything at the minute. At the back it says burger bar and at the front it says fazenda bar. So I think at some point during its life it's been a fast food place and a place to uh, come and get drunk. That's a stunner. I've got to say I'm bloody impressed with the street art that I've uh, come across so far in Kiev. And this one is just fantastic. This one's called the Black Sea. Well, I think that's the uh, last of the pieces of street art from this area. I'm going to keep on walking down towards the uh, train station because just down here is the Kiev Circus. And I've heard that it's uh, quite an interesting building. If it's anything like the uh, Lviv Circus, it should be worth checking out. Well, to be honest, I prefer the one in Lviv. Well, this is nice for a KFC. If you get right close to it as well, it's all food. Well, it looks healthy foods to be honest, and not the stuff they sell in KFC. This looks an interesting place, I've no idea what it is. Whether it used to be some kind of museum or something, and now it's just uh, empty and run down. I just walked along this main road. I'd seen on Google Maps that uh, I'd saved some cathedral or something or other. And I just got on the corner, and here it is. Right, let's see if we can go in and take a look. Well, I had to be careful in there because uh, they were charging 50 to take photos and 100 to take videos. 100 to take videos, three quid. Um, anyway, so yeah, I uh, managed to sneak one uh, photo and also uh, a little video and I forgot to take my hat off and as you can see it's not the most subtle of hats so uh, it wasn't actually a babushka that came and told me off it was uh, some young guy who came and uh, told me to remove my hat and then he vanished I don't know whether I don't even think he worked there we are now entering Taras Shevchenko Park which um, appears to be in the university area of Kiev and uh, 
yeah, I've just come in here just to chill out, have a sit down, have my second sandwich of the day, and um, have a look at where I'm going to head to next. Now, I'm quite far away from uh, my hostel, and the plan was today was to go home, cook some food, and uh, then go out for a few beers. But if I'm eating a sandwich now, and then I, it'll be. I'll not be ready to eat when I get back, so I'm thinking what I might do is just have my sandwich now and on my way back to the hostel have a few beers. That way I can check out some bars that are not in the area that I'm staying. It'll break the journey down and also uh, means that I might actually get home early. <laughs> Anyway, while I contemplate that little dive on her, look at these bad boys. Time for a rest. Well, I've only got a couple more to see now. Um, because basically, I'm losing the light. So one of them, apparently, on my map, says it's number 13. Number 13 is at the end of this street, so I'm presuming it's on this wall to my left. And there we go. Looks a bit like Harold Boulder, to be honest. And the reason he's on uh, a bike is because it's located right next to this thing. As I'm heading to my uh, next piece of street art, I did notice that on this street, in some of the uh, back alleys, there seems to be some other pieces as well. Especially spelling. Well, this one took some uh, getting to, to be honest, because they're doing a lot of road work around there. Well, you know, in England, when uh, whenever there's any kinds of uh, kind of road works so or this kind of stuff going on, and it's all fenced up. Here, you just. <laughs> you just gotta uh, make your way through it the best you can. Oh, yeah. oh hills, lovely. I've not even checked Google Maps to see if this is the right way. It better bloody be. past a place called the Friends and Lovers Bar. I don't think I'm going there, being as I've got neither. <laughs> I'm all on my own here. Well, the sun's gone down and that's it for my street art adventure in Kiev. I barely scratched the surface to be honest. There are apparently about 160 murals in Kiev, all dating from around 2014. That's when the street art explosion began. A lot of it was political pictures of people who'd either done heroic things or had sadly died during the conflict in 2014 started appearing all around the city and from there on uh, the street art scene grew and grew. So I've seen I guess some of the uh, more famous ones. I'd like to thank the Kathmandu and Beyond website and also Go Live Go Travel. Um, it was a combination of their tours that I've done today. I may go out and do some more. I had planned to look at the street art maps of Kiev website where it literally displays every single piece of uh, uh, street art in the city. And what I was going to do is once I'd finished on these trails, 
then just basically open the map and see what was nearby and just uh, go wandering again but as you can see it's dark now so a good place to end the vlog is it one of the places we discovered earlier did I even see this earlier I don't think I did did I how could I have missed this one Well, I just searched for bars around the area that I'm in and apparently just down here there's a bar called Bar of Your Friends and uh, it hosts couch surfing social nights. Now, the, I don't think there's one on tonight, but it says that it does get a lot of international travellers, so it sounds like a cool place. Is this it with the heart? Bar of Your Friends sounds like the kind of place that would have a heart outside. No, that's not it. Oh, that's a sex shop. <laughs> we'll do that later. Right, so I'm heading to the punk bar where I went a couple of nights ago. And it's 18 minutes walk or 14 minutes by public transport. But the public transport is a funicular. So I'm going to do that. Now, when I've been on funiculars before, like in Germany um, it's kind of been a bit of a tourist thing and uh, it costs like two and a half euros but here it's uh, just public transport so it just costs eight which is about 30p right, um, just down eight eight yeah yeah Jack, are you? Looks like I timed it well. Oh, I don't know how to open the door. <laughs> Just about to say I don't know how to open the doors, but I don't need to worry about that. front seat as well. It's even got a driver this one, I don't think the last one did. I think it was automatic. I don't know how hard it would be to drive one of these things. I mean, it's like, press the down button. <laughs> well, that cost about 25 pence, which is uh, much better than the uh, ones in Germany which were like three euros and that saved me a good four minutes <laughs> that's alright then <laughs> 